All right, so today I have three packages that arrived from Amazon. All right, here's the first one. Let's see what we have. The main thing I want to cover is going to be in this box here. So let's see what we have in this box. This is my fillet knife. Rata Cutlery fillet knife made in the USA, lifetime guarantee. Some reviews said it's kind of flimsy, but you want it to be a little flexible. Packaging is nice. Comes with a sharpener. Basically two, two quarter size washers. Uh, this is an old school way of sharpening. Uh, I grew up with one of these type of sharpeners, and they work. They work really, really good, pretty effective. Let's check out the knife, rubber handle, good grip. It's very comfortable. I don't see this slipping out of your hand. Comes with a leather sheath with a belt loop. Nice and flexible. Not bad. Take a, take a piece of paper really quick and test it out. Looks like work-related notes. Ugh. All good. Let's check out the sharpness of this knife. Oh yeah, nice and sharp. All right, that's Item number one, I'm going fishing, so I want to catch some fish and I want to eat some fish. I'm going to give this a test in a day or so. Actually, put it back in the box. Okay, that's item number one. Item number two. These are, I think I know what these are. I think they're gloves. There we go. These are cut resistant gloves. Nice to have. They're very flexible. You still have the dexterity. Now, one side is, okay, this must be for your my left hand because one side is uh, has rubber grip on it and the other side does not, it slips. So it's pretty good. Pretty good grip on the rubber side. No grip on the non-rubberized side. These are size large. Um, yeah, fit like a glove. Last item. This is what I was waiting for. So, I've been meaning to get a new omelet pan, and this is an 8 inch omelet pan by OXO Good Grips. Doing some research, this one came highly recommended. It was the number one pan, or the recommended pan, by Cooks Illustrated. They did a bunch of tests on, on um, different omelet pans, and this was the best one uh, based on functionality. You know, it's, it's non-stick properties, overall cost, durability. There's something shaking on the inside. So this is a hollow handle. That's kind of bothersome. And there's like a, a little metal fragment that's kind of loose in there. I mean, it's not gonna affect anything, but that's kind of odd. So, this has is hard anodized aluminum. 
Looks to be in good shape. Dishwasher safe. So it's riveted. That was one thing I was trying to determine if I wanted to, to get. It's riveted with two rivets here that they just coated. And I've seen a lot of times when you're scrubbing your pans, um, you have to be very careful because it's non-stick, but since these are raised bumps, you tend to scrape the non-stick coating off of these bumps, off of the rivets. Something to keep in mind. I mean, I paid $30 for this, so if it lasts a couple years, I'll be happy. If it lasts one year, I'll be happy. But uh, according to the tests on the Cook's Illustrated website, it was quite durable. And I think they did something like 50 eggs in it, uh, and it, it didn't stick. That was their test. So let me read about it. it has it's hard anodized, three layers of nonstick, dishwasher safe, professional grade, whatever that means. High quality materials meet the highest standards in cooking performance. Comfortable handle. So the handle is very comfortable. It's just it got that annoying rattle. A little baby might like it. Let me see. So that's it. Very, this one was very well packed. Had a lot of bubble wrap. That's it, a quick unboxing of three items, but primarily I was interested in talking about this OXO Good Grips 8 inch fry pan or omelet pan. Um, you know what? Let's just go forward and let me grab this over here. Uh, excuse the movements. You know what? I'm just going to quickly. Let's just wash it. I wouldn't use a, the abrasive side. I would use just the soft side. I mean, for sure, you don't want to use like steel wool or, but, or, but even a Brillo pad, I just wouldn't bother. Just, just, just give this a quick wash. Remove any factory uh, residues. Oh, by the way, this is a dish rack that I, a space saver dish rack, really solid. Check it out. We've abused this thing, it's very sturdy. We paid like $70 for it. I'll do a review on it sometime, but. This has been great. This in combination with my IKEA towel rack up here has really made this area a lot more functional. Um, you know, given our limited our limited space, th this has helped a lot. Okay, this is nice and clean. Just do a two egg omelet. A little bit of sea salt. have any herbs or anything, but that's fine. Let's here. Let's get these guys going. Is it still recording? Yeah. Okay. Pan looks good. Get these eggs. Turn the heat down, high. Let's give it a try. Okay.
Gotta love the first time you use a non-stick. It's like magic. Okay. Right, nice and quick and dirty omelet. And it performs beautifully, look at that. Let's get this guy in here. Nice and gooey in the middle. I love an omelet like that. A little bit of pepper. First gear, second gear, third gear for variety. Let's give this bad boy a try. Mm. When you cook it like this, it's almost like it has cheese in it. It's so creamy, so good. It's so simple too. It's all technique. Use fresh eggs though. Now normally for this style, I like to use a little bit of herb. I, I'll use a bit of fresh parsley, a little bit of tarragon, and uh, you know, just salt and pepper, it's perfect. Misan Plus, right in the washer. <clears throat> My wife likes, uh, she, let, she, lets, she tolerates me doing this little cooking channel of mine, but I have to clean up. So make sure everything's nice and clean. Happy wife, happy life. All right. Thank you.